Good morning, people. Welcome to Build Day 23. Let's start off with an apology. <laughs> uh, the vlog yesterday. I went to bed before it was all the way uploaded to YouTube. So I had like 15 minutes left. It was going on quarter after one <laughs> in the morning, and I was out of it. So I turned the monitor off, turned the speakers off, and I went to bed. I did hit the you know, the uh, load button so it would automatically load up to YouTube. I didn't make it to post in the vlog on Facebook until the, this morning. So they got you guys on Facebook, got it late. Uh, so I apologize for that. Uh, today's vlog, or as you saw yesterday, we went through and got a lot of things hooked up to electricity. Still got a crap ton of stuff to do yet. And we're going to be working on that today. I'm just noticing that gate is warped. I hadn't noticed that before. Okay, interesting. But uh, we're going to be working back on electrical. And I think what I'm going to do is now that I'm working on electrical every night, I'm going to have to plug things in and uh, you know make sure everything's working right, aimed right. You know if there's any repairs. Like I got a couple of repairs today to do. Uh, I think instead of giving you a walk through the whole haunt, because that takes a lot of time, adds a lot of time to the vlogs, I think I'm just going to give you snippets of the areas I have been working in, or anything I made a change to, and uh, do it that way. It'll help keep the vlogs a little bit shorter for you guys. So we're going to do that. Uh, today's first, you know, thing on today is I need to get it in and fix the motor. Or not the motor, but the mechanics. The linkage came loose from the motor. That's why he wasn't working last night. I also need to get over in the black light room into the bump out. And uh, take a look at that black light and figure out why it is not working. And I'm hoping it's just there's something wrong with the plug or the switch. I don't want to have to try to find a two foot long black light bulb <laughs> interesting but uh, anyway so we're going to work on those two things first and then we're going to be kind of just jumping around the haunt today putting some stuff up i got a couple specialty lights for the clown hallway i definitely want to get up i got two more of the flame pots i need to get up in the ship's wheel and then i think we might finish the electrical work and get the water in the uh, bubbling tubes in the bump out too so those are the three er three main areas I'd like to get done today. And uh, should have no problem. Neither None of the uh, projects are very long. So we'll probably make it a little bit further today too. But we'll have to wait and see. But with that, I've got to get the truck parked and the flags up. So let's get that going and we'll get into it. Okay. Midday update. I'm getting ready to go grab some lunch. It's around noon, I think. Uh, spent most of my time over here today working in the bump out. We got the water tubes hooked up. And as I feared, I've only got, let's see, there's six plus eight. Four, there's 14 water tubes. They're all supposed to be bubbling. I've only got three bubbling. And I already know what the problem is. I'm using this uh, brown plastic air, uh, tubing. And it runs down inside a copper pipe to the bottom and then it's supposed to bubble from the bottom up that brown tubing when it gets pinched crushes and while when I put these away it was a nice loop after sitting there all year long they've crushed so it's blocking the air from bubbling up the tubes uh, another fix I'm gonna have to do uh, instead of bending it like I've got here I think down at the bottom, I'm going to buy a plastic T to go on there, and that'll take care of the problem. It'll work fine next year. But the water has uh, some dye in it, so it will fluoresce and glow. Uh, the three that are bubbling create a nice noise over here in this area. This display is totally 99.999% finished. And the reason why I say that, I got to get hay in there to hide the cords. And I'll do that when I get ready to do the hay. Now, the other thing I fixed, uh, if you remember, I had the one tombstone that the linkage went bad on. Well, that's fixed and running now. And then the other one 
that I've been working on is over here in the pirate display. And that was putting up the tiki lights and they're wired in, ready to go. Uh, so we'll get those tested tonight and I'll test the uh, bump out water room as well. Uh, I'm at a quandary now. Uh, since I'm working over in the water room, I'm tempted just to keep going over in the water room and get the fountains in, get what pneumatics need to go in, in platform for the fogger and stuff and get that done and over with. But part of me also wants to work in the clown hallway on that specialty lighting too. I know the water room is going to take the better part of the day, <laughs> more than likely, to get uh, airlines ran and everything, get the pumps and the electrical for that ran. So I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing after lunch. It's either going to be the water room or it's going to be the clown hallway or it's going to be both. I might just do the clown hallway, get it wired up and the lights in and then go over and work on water room. I don't know. Okay, I think last segment I said I wasn't sure after lunch whether I was going to work on water room and getting the stuff in there or work on the clown. I ended up doing both. Got the clown done. I've got a kaleidoscope uh, light there, which will point down to this corner. I've got another one there, which will point down to this corner. And then uh, up here, if you see, back will go like that. That up there, that's one of those uh, laser dot things that they had out at Christmas. You know, put dot, laser dots all over your house. Got that hanging up up there. That will highlight this hallway. And then I got a different form of the kaleidoscope. This one screws into a light socket the wife wanted me to buy, not realizing it screwed into a light socket. But that's pointing down into here. That should be all the light we're gonna need for the clown hallway. It took a little, took a fair bit to get that wired up. Now, over in the water room, I just got done installing all three pumps in the water wall, Clifford and the Laring Skeleton. Took a little bit. I've still got to run the main power line, which I'm getting ready to do now. But I wanted to kind of give you a little bit of an update on what's what and where we're at. So you guys kind of know. And then this, we'll give you a look at things tonight. I'm not sure how much further I'm going to get out here. I'm starting to poop out. Okay, time to call it quits. It's starting to rain. And it is after dinner. I uh, wanted to show you what we what I can of what we got accomplished. There's quite a few things, some wiring and stuff I did today that are not hooked up to power, so I can't really show you those items because they're not hooked up. But we're going to start off with the ship's wheel for the pirate. And we got the uh, flame lights going. In fact, probably better coming down here and going like that. Nope. It's about the same, but you get you get the idea. There's two of them in there. Now on to the next display. Now I'm not sure if these are showing up on this camera. I won't know until I edit. But uh, the ones up here might. I hung our spider light up on the rafter of the tent, and it's hitting the netting and shining through. And we've actually got spiders running around on the ground. This camera really sucks at night, but uh, so we got that effect that, that might creep people out. And then the first one we did today, we spent a lot of time in here on it, was the uh, bubbling tubes. And they're glowing a bit. But this one's all lit up and glowing now. I really need to get my good camera out here to do this justice. Oh, we've got a light not working. There we go. Need just to turn the bulb. So, still need to get the motor in the in the wall yet. That's in with all the pneumatic stuff. Now I went in and I also worked on the Laring skeleton. So he's swinging correctly. And uh, we also got all the pumps in so we've got the uh, one for the Learning skeleton he has water it gushes out of his mouth we've got the uh, bar there on top of the uh, or the pipe I should say on top of the uh, water wall 
and we got Morgan sewer pipe down here. The pumps are in. I still need to buy uh, a 25 foot extension cords so we can get hooked up to power and I need water before I can plug them in. So we got that done. And then the only other thing, and it was a quick easy one. Now we did get the mister in the uh, cauldron too. And it's having a nice effect. It's shining up on the skull. But uh, the mister isn't really misting overly much. <laughs> I think we need new misters. <laughs> They're pretty old. They don't put out like they used to. Well, there's your brief look at what we've gotten done. It doesn't look like we've got much done, but surprisingly, there was a lot of wiring in all of that. And that's what took most of my time, was running, running power lines and everything else. Oh, and by the way, end of the day wrap up. Uh, made good progress, I think, today. Uh, we've got, I've got to get AC ran in the Gypsy. I keep getting squirreled and drawn off to other things. I need to get the AC lines ran. Uh, problem is, in order to test everything, I got to have everything uncovered in there. So, be in or it'll be interesting. But we got to get Gypsy room done. I've got fogging, foggers to install yet and I've also got all the pneumatic stuff to do. I got solenoids and the clowns and oh, solenoids but uh, rat tails in the clowns and in the cornhole to install. I've got the uh, jumping spider and attack spider and the spider display to do. I've got the water blasters in the sewer room, black light room, water room, whatever you want to call it, and the pirate. Uh, they need, you know, some of the stuff needs its pistons put in, everything needs its solenoids put in, and then all the airlines have to be ran. And that's almost a full day just to do that. Uh, foggers will take a part day to do. Basically just putting them into place, getting them filled, getting them hooked up to power. So, shouldn't be too bad. Uh, what is today? Wednesday? The shooting Friday, I should have all this done. And then Saturday, we can get water in the ponds and we'll start the low voltage on Saturday. Sooner, if I, get, if I can help it. If I have my druthers, I like to uh, get the foggers and the uh, pneumatics done tomorrow but it depends on weather clouds came in tonight and it's raining now so not real hard thank god but uh that's pretty much where we're at i do have some errands i need to run in the morning uh, i gotta go down to home depot and they're all haunt errands i need a 25 foot extension cord and I need to get some piping for the uh, fogger for zombie bait. And then Swan needs to stop by Spirit and pick up some spiders. And we need to get some misters. The uh, water misters that we've got, both in the scrying bowl and over in the cauldron in the witch's display. The lights are still working, but they really don't put out a whole lot of mist. Of course, they're five, six years old. You know, they've been used considerably. So we're thinking about just replacing those. Pick up three misters. But, you know, barring that, we, we are getting right down to the end of it here. AC work, you know, is technically for the most part done. You know, it's just the pneumatic, all the air-driven stuff. So, we're getting there. Stay spooky. Stay toxic.